do, 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 do. the well-built home heroes. <laughs> <laughs> well-built home, Stefan is going to teach us about forming. Hey Stefan! Yeah? What the heck is forming? Oh, uh, well, it'd be easiest just to show you. Oh. Oh. Oh, actually, this is, this is forming. Forming is the uh, temporary and or permanent molds into which concrete and other similar materials are poured. So what we've done here is a two-stage pour. First, we poured our footings. That's this portion here. So that's done. That's a nice concrete footing for the form to sit on. Now the form sits on top of that footing, and it's made up of these plywood walls that are all braced. And the concrete goes inside of here. And once it's dried, all this wood comes off, and you're just left with a nice concrete wall. Here's three simple things that you can actually see that are qualities in a well-built home. These are conduits. That's where all the wires and some of the pipes come from the road and whatnot into your foundation. Those conduits, you, as you can see here, are run into the footing. They run through the footing, and then they're run up and out of the top of the foundation wall. This way, all our service boxes, they can all be mounted flush on a wall, so you have a nice, smooth, clean look without a big, awkward box built out onto the side of your wall. Another really simple thing to look for is, are the doors into the home sitting up on top of a bunch of concrete or are they sitting down nice and flush on top of the sidewalks? The way that's done is by putting a couple of blocks which create a knockdown in the formwork. And what that means is there's a wood strip that comes along here and the concrete's gonna be poured to the top of that wood strip. And then down here, the concrete's going to pour to the bottom of these boards and that'll create an opening just big enough to slip a door inside of so the door sits down here. So the finished product should look something a little bit more like this. You don't want it to look like this where the door is sitting up on top of the foundation wall. Another indicator of a well-built home is you don't have a lot of exposed concrete and this is how we do that. By installing blocks embedded into the concrete we're able to nail siding or trim boards wherever we need all the way down the foundation to whatever grades we need. And a house that's poorly built like this or this doesn't have that. That's why there's so much exposed concrete. Property planned formwork allows you to use hillside grades like this to give you a nice finished look without any exposed concrete. So to sum up, you want to see a nice flat wall where your services run, not a box framing all your services in. You want to see nice level entries in and out of doorways. You should never have to step up and over a high threshold and you don't want to see stairs leading up to and away from your doorways. Look for siding that runs down to and near your concrete and landscaping surfaces. You don't want to see too much exposed concrete. While none of these are deal breakers, it's important to know what to look for, because you only get what you pay for if you get what to look for. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs>